Hello Scorpio. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on the title at the time it might have intrigued you. Okay, I'll take them. Your oracles to start this reading. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have uh, the singer of intuition. It'll be the retriever. Soulless and himself. This looks like a very passionate energy. Someone who sees, uh, sees to your very soul. Or you see someone to their very soul. And there is a... a very deep abiding love and passion could it be that this person helped you to retrieve a part of yourself that was missing intuition is telling you that this person uh this could be you and somebody looking at you and they have their intuition is telling them there is something in your spirit inside of you that resonates and vibrates at the same level that as, as they do the two of you. This is a very passionate connection. You could be connecting with a Taurus or a Leo. Let's have a look at these cards. You're either going through a spiritual or physical or both healing. You're somewhat conflicted with yourself or with maybe family members or friends. You're trying to heal from a some sorrow from your past that you've been hanging on to. There's defensive energy. You're standing your ground maybe with family members or friends or people that are pushing you too far and you're just standing your ground and putting up your barriers and saying, look, this is the castle I built and nobody's taking it from me. You're trying to heal from something here. And there's some confusion as to which direction you want to go. But you're walking away from someone or a situation. You do have the keys. You could be, again, dealing with a Taurus. You do have the keys to something here. Wanting something traditional, committed. It looks to me like um, I mean we do have a victory here was it an empty victory of love because like I said there's there's confusion here you have many paths that you can choose from you may be getting dreams and visions Scorpio as to what you want to create next but you're a little confused as to what direction you want to go you're walking away from something here because of grief and trying to heal so maybe what's happening is your 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 vision or your um intuition is clouded right now but there's something coming in that's really powerful here a connection either with a Leo or a Taurus not necessarily but these are the energies let's clarify these cards for Taurus yeah so we had a tower moment here and your boundaries are up. Very defensive energy here, Taurus or Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, maybe a Capricorn. We have devil energy. This is about addictions. Maybe this is what you're walking away from over here. An addiction, a, a behavior pattern that you've been trying to deal with. A codependent situation. Five of Wands, again conflict from within and without 
grief. It could have been a loss of money, a loss of job. This, uh, whatever it is you're grieving over or maybe obsessing over here is, uh, you're missing something that is trying to come in, an energy that's trying to come in because you're dwelling too much on this grief, this past, this behavior, um, the worst addiction in the world is thinking, overthinking. Um, you want to work on your craft, at what you're good at. Your spiritual gifts, your creative gifts. Maybe this is the advice for you, Scorpio. Right at the heart of your reading is just to focus on what your passion is. Eight of Water. You want to take a leap of faith into a, a new direction. You do have someone coming towards you. Could be a Leo. Um, this is about fixing something in order to commit or committing to breaking a habit. But this person wants victory with you and passion. This is a person, um, and not necessarily a sexual thing here. It could be a, someone coming in that's passionate about the things that you do and are supportive. This is usually, you know, devotion and loyalty. The King of Wands is just the sexiest king in the deck, in my opinion. But it could be just someone who's dedicated to your cause. But this person, it looks like, wants uh, victory uh, in love with you. He, they want to go to the that euphoric high with you so let's ask a whisper of love for you what is the message for Taurus from whoever they're thinking about a significant other a love interest or the one coming in Listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. What is the outcome and advice for Scorpio regarding love? What is the outcome and advice for Scorpio regarding love? I just don't have much to say today. There they are. The one that fell on the floor was chemistry. Someone's coming in. I, I got this feeling if for the single Scorpios, um, someone's coming in that you're 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 gonna just have a spark with as soon as you meet. Uh, for others, you've already know who this person is. You have this magnetic attraction to. We have pay attention to the red flags. Uh, signs are cautioning you, and I, and I know that this, this could be for another person. But often when I see this card, I think of this is about you needing to pay attention to the red flags within you. Triggers, things that trigger you. There is a reconciliation. If it was someone you were hoping to reconcile with, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And there is reconciliation here for you. It may be about getting to know each other all over again. So there's two stories here for the both both the singles or and those in separation. Getting to know each other again. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You've been calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. 
codependency addic addictions are affecting your love life. So I had that impression too with these cards. There's something, whether it's a behavior, an addiction, a codependent relationship that you're in, that needs to be dealt with. Perhaps, you know, something from childhood that you're being triggered with and need to deal with. I hope that helped. Please hit the like if that resonated for you because it helps to get those videos out there. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the weekly bell for notification. I go live every Sunday night for free card pulls if you want me to pull you some cards. 6 o'clock Eastern T Standard Time. Thank you for your love and support, Scorpio. God bless you. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.